I need some epic fails footage. <laughs> I played the uh, Battlefield uh, 3. Ah. I've flown uh, helicopters in, uh, in tunnels. Oh, okay. So I think I can manage landing. Okay, Maybe. good enough. Yeah, Pratushka. If you want to support the channel, be sure to join the Patreon. You can find link in description. Opa. Opachki. What's this? Welcome to the helicopter flight training course where you will get familiarized with the controls and handling of a medium lift helicopter. Helicopters in squad are primarily used for logistics and the transport of personnel around the battlefield. Oh, okay. The main advantage of airlift is the ability to rapidly get men and material to where they need to be, regardless of terrain and much faster than oh, on wow. foot or by ground transportation. A good pilot can turn the tide of battle. First, we got a dress okay, the job very nice. Let's Grab change my kit. From the nearest ammo crate. You're going to need it to get into the pilot seat. Hmm. Now, this is very important, comrades. You need to pay attention to quite a few things over here. First of all, altitude. Okay. We all know that you need to pay attention. I think the maximum ceiling is set at a thousand five hundred meters, uh, but I think it might be map specific, just like on uh, Scorpo. I mean, you're gonna fly a lot higher. Anyways, you know your heading, altitude indicator, rudder input controls. Oh <laughs> okay, pitch indicator, that's very important. That makes you go forwards, backwards. Okay, you need to pay attention to this. Okay, comrade, so you don't crash. Landed indicator, obviously, once you've touched the ground. But now, from my, my previous flight time, it's very hard for me to actually land and stay in one spot. I normally land and then the thing wants to go forward or backwards. Pretty, that's pretty fucking good. Uh, yeah, that, that is, is pretty that good. is pretty fucking good, bro. Great success. Maybe I'm just not good enough yet. Okay, obviously roll when you be rolling. Okay, collective very important. This adjusts how quickly you're gonna move, basically how quickly you're gonna go up, and whether or not you're gonna fall out of the sky. Okay. Obviously, um, when you want to land, you want to bring it down, and then as you're about to hit the ground, you want to increase it so you, well, increase it, then decrease it so you create this little cushion of air so you can land nice and softly. Um, when you put the collective at 50%, you will not gain more altitude, you will just hover. Um, doesn't mean you'll hover in one spot, obviously, with your inertia, you're going to keep on moving. Um, I don't think they have that feature implemented just yet but just know 50 percent you'll just hover at the same altitude okay obviously your airspeed when you're coming in for a landing you want to reduce this please 
Don't fly in there like a madman and crash the helicopter and kill everyone inside. I am Although, there is a 50-50 chance when you crash a helicopter that people will survive, so it's not a case of every time you get in, you're gonna die. Um, there's a chance you will survive, so very, very nice. Engine RPM, obviously, we know what this is. Okay, if you don't have half a brain cell, okay, it's the revolutions per minute. Now, when you get in the chopper, it first has to start up. And when it gets to a certain point, only then you'll be able to take off. Some people like to take off with the collective at 100%. Um, I don't really like to do that. Um, I like to have a more of a, a gradual controlled uh, taking off. But obviously when you're in a hot spot, 100% you're going to have to do. Okay. This is obviously, if you're taking damage, you'll see when we get in the helicopter. It's shown better inside. Okay, landing, obviously, when you land, you don't want to come in, or when you're approaching, you don't want to come in too fast, or you're going to guarantee a crash, unless you're able to quickly turn that thing, decelerate, put it down, uh, but I mean, that takes practice, a lot of practice. Okay, you see this picture, the way you're landing, that is alright, just make sure you come up before you touch the ground, or your tail rotor is going to smack, and obviously, you're not going to have a tail rotor <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Um, the way they've designed it is that the damage is compartmentalized. So your main rotor can take damage. And uh, obviously, it doesn't have a hitbox. So you can't shoot it with projectiles and it'll break. So you can't RPG the rotors yet. Oh, I've got his tail rotor. Yeah. You hit a beam? Yeah, I've got his tail rotor. But he's not spinning. Currently, there is uh, a system in place so anything you touch, whether it's a tree branch or a building, unlike the heli mod, these rotors are going to fly off back and front. So just be careful. Okay, but otherwise, you can shoot them all day and they won't blow up. I think later on in a later version, they're going to enable you to shoot out the tail rotor so you can spin out of control. You know, just like... That's out. Holy shit. Fire. One helicopter down. Also one enemy down. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, a guy fell out. Okay. Shift to high collective, slow rate of descent before touching down. Yeah, that is the right way of doing it. But obviously, you don't just go straight from 100 to 0. Shit, I can't see which field he's in. Okay, but smoke. Davai, Davai! Oh shit, he's gone! Okay, very nice. I think we're ready. Okay. Start up the aircraft. It takes a little while for the rotors to spin up, but once you see the landed light turn on, you're ready to take off. To take off, Simply raise your collective to above 50%. Once airborne, start
start the flight course by flying through the rings. This course will give you a variety of flight challenges to overcome. Hey, this is the Okay. Okay, now we have to wait for obviously the RPM to go up high enough and then we can take off. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. Salute! I'm coming! <laughs> oh fuck me! Oh it's funny shit! to the chapel go now they try to kill you oh what happened to my sound there this piece yet Opa. let's go Push it to the limit. The limit. Walk along the races stage. <laughs> Fuck it, these idiots. I'm not going to do this anymore. All you do is fly through the rings and eventually you go and land. Nothing special, but it gets the job done. Didn't it? Oh, but fuck me, enemy down here. Gets up! Ah! <laughs> 